In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to be more productive and have more focus using something as simple as an Oculus Quest 3. Okay, the first thing you wanna get is a Bluetooth keyboard to connect to your Oculus. So this one here is a track keyboard. It allows you to actually see it within VR. It's a Logitech MX Keys Mini for Mac. You can get the universal one as well. And this one is really well made. It's a little mini guy and it's, you know, really solid. It allows you to, do, to connect up to three Bluetooth connections. So I've got my laptop, my personal laptop, my work laptop, as well as a VR headset. And it's like really well. You should get the pale pale color because of the contrast and it's easier to pick up within the system. It's got a little on and off button over here and a great battery. And the other thing you guys want to get is a Bluetooth mouse. These are really cheap. I got the Silent Touch uh, M240. This over here is great mouse. It's cheap. It's also made by Logitech. So I wanted to keep the same brand. And this allows you to pair it and use a mouse within your VR headset. Set. So these are the two things you need to get to be productive. If you guys want to purchase these, I've got links in the description. Uh, to get your keyboard and your Bluetooth mouse working is really simple to do. So you got to uh, make sure it's turned on. So this little light is flashing. Then what you do is you need to select which one of these you need to connect with. So I want to connect with uh, number three. So all you do is you hold down number three uh, as a quick connect. And then what you do is you go back into your head set you go to quick settings you go to bluetooth you say add new device and you should see it come up there now the mouse is uh, very similar so what you do is on the back of your logitech mouse there's a button here you just select it and it should start to flash and then when you go back into your headset you just say pair new device and you select logi m240 and you pair it. Once that's done, you should see a cursor then appear and you can interact with this cursor throughout your system. So obviously the MX Keys Mini is a tracked keyboard. So you just got to make sure when you go into quick settings and you go into your settings, you go into your devices, your keyboard, just make sure that this is added. So you can just edit. I'm going to quickly show you how that's done. You just go to select manufacturer Logitech MX Keys Mini and you select the Mac and American and then this you can also set as well the remote keyboard and once that's done you should be able to see your keyboard in uh, virtual reality and which why this is cool is because when you go over this you can actually see the keys and that's really handy for when you're going and typing so you can see those special keys that you might have an issue with. all right guys once you have connected your lovely Bluetooth keyboard and your mouse to your oculus you should see a cursor now appear in front of you and this cursor can be used to control anything within your vr headsets including the settings including any of these buttons at the bottom as well as manipulation of the user interface so for example you can uh, use your cursor to uh, move your windows around you can also use it to to resize your different browser windows why i like this setup as opposed to streaming information from your laptop to your headset is it is quick and easy it's native it's built into the oculus quest as you don't need to install any third-party applications like immersed onto your physical laptop you don't have to have your laptop with you you don't have to have it running you know a lot of the times your laptop might go into sleep mode and disable so this is a really quick and easy way be productive I also like it because you know you're trusting these third-party applications like immersed etc with your information and this way you are trusting meta but it's a lot bigger company and they've gone through the ringer with regards to data privacy so the two applications you guys need to install are Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word you can find these on the oculus quest store and just install them what these do is obviously use the cloud based through Microsoft 365 to boot up these instances so if you go into your browser you should see um, an option available to then go and select them once you boot it up you'll get so I'll come up this is obviously a list of games uh, this is a what i've been working on from a video standpoint and then on the other on the other screen you can you know load up some word word documents or in this instance i'm just writing it out so you can see here if I, i'm typing obviously the typing comes out on the screen and then I can control like I would on a on a desktop and the response time is a fantastic so it's really really good and you can obviously have your YouTube playing here on the left as well so any videos that you want you you have the three 
massive virtual screens and you can resize these however you want so if you want to resize them you can resize them smaller or bigger if you want to make this really big it's a big wide excel sheet you can do that to be uh, productive in vr one of the things is to immerse yourself and that's uh, going out of mixed reality and going into VR. So one of the things that a track keyboard allows you to do is allows you to go into a space like this. So obviously if I roll back a little bit, you guys can see just minimize some of these screens. I'm inside a immersive environment with some sounds happening and some background music that I can play. To get those back, you just click on browser and you can select those as well. And any themes that you have available, you can just go to quick settings and change the environment environment settings and personalization as well uh, personalization and just go to the virtual environment whatever you would like to if you want to do a space station you can do that which is pretty cool uh, if you want to do it there's a terrace you know and all of these are free um, inside immersed you have to pay for these so this is this is brilliant you know and this one as well so this is obviously the default one um, and you can install you know more themes that you want to play the other thing is there's also interactive objects you can enable you know your mirror to, oh, there's the mirror over there hey how are you going so the mirror itself and interactive objects or something they're probably going to be adding to this sort of similar setup to to this um, I'm super impressed with this. As you can see, this is a track keyboard. If I go down like that, you can see my hands are now visible and it just works so well. So super impressed with what they've done here. And I've tried the other applications and I feel like this one is definitely one to start out with and see if you get going with it.